Welcome, I'm Bill, and uh, this is the first of hopefully a long series of videos that I'll be posting both on uh, Instagram TV and out on my YouTube channel to um, illustrate how I develop my art. This one is called Making Diamond, and um, it actually uh, will show you um, a kind of a flop and then how to, um, you know, get myself back, you know, a result that I was happy with. So I enjoy uh, doing this, this artwork a great deal, and I like to share it with people who also enjoy um, interesting art. Uh, so enjoy the, uh, the short video. It, it lasts about three and a half, four minutes, and um, I hope you find it interesting. Diamond is trying to achieve an iridescent look of the uh, the gemstone, and um, it's generally monochromatic with um, iridescent pearls and whites and things. But I did add a little bit of graphite, and then, as you'll see, there's a little bit of blue in there too, and the blue really dominated, which sort of threw the whole effect off. It's not that the first pour was particularly bad, it just didn't get the effect that I was looking for, so I decided to go ahead and, and do it again in the second pour. Now in the second pour, there's two main changes. All of the basic colors um, are the same. I, I apply them in a little bit different manner, as you'll see in a minute. Um, but I had decided to add a secret ingredient here, and that's a, a slurry that I made up. A friend sent me a whole array of uh, metallic powders. This one um, is a slurry made with uh, Floetrol and also the uh, aluminum powder. It's very finely pulverized powder and it, it mixes up. As you'll see, it, it turns into like a deep blue color, but um, it actually, when it uh, gets on the painting, it turns out to be silver. And this is how the second pour actually turned out. It's uh, five by five inches, and um, the original uh, is, is available still, as of when this recording was made, and it's presented as a, a bookshelf art on its own little easel. It also, the image that I took the photograph of, um, is used to make two basic templates for the Zodiac series. Um, this one, for the month of April, is for Aries and Taurus. And uh, thanks for watching.